Let's do a little uh, fun factor Friday. Doesn't get much better than this. Uh, some of this is very much review. Should be a piece of cake. Some of it is a little bit new. So let's take a look. Start with the difference of two squares. Something squared minus something squares goes as fast at, well, got the first one wrong. <sighs> X Split her into two sets. What'd you square to get k squared? What'd you square to get 16? Boom, I need a plus and a minus. Please take into account that it can go a variety of different directions. You're just looking for what did you square? What did you square? Need a plus, need a minus, follow the formula. Over here, two different ways you can do this. We kind of did this from completing the square back in the day divide by 2, square it. You can get it like that. You can also do the, what do you multiply for 9 and add for 6? It's going to be, it's going to be 3 and 3, and you can do it that way as well, okay? So a few different ones there shouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's slide her down. Okay, uh, down here, these two different ones. Um, we've got a couple of things. First off, uh, greatest common factor. So we want to factor out an x squared first. And then we just, we need to keep this coming along though. And now you ask yourself, self, what do you multiply together to get 12 and add together to get 7? And now you're good. So you do need to you need to keep moving down the, you gotta take an X out, and it still is part of it. So this is factored completely. Remember when the lead coefficient is not equal to one, um, you're gonna need to, uh, you're gonna need to like do two times three is six. And then what do you multiply for six and add for seven? Six and one. So now I'm gonna make this into a four termed unit. And then we group and group. Take a 2x out, x plus 3. Can't take anything out, so I like to take a 1 out just to hold a place. x plus 3, 2x plus 1. This guy down here, please keep in mind, I've got x squared and then an xy and a y squared. You're still going to do the same type of thing. You're still going to get 12 for 7, so you know it's going to be a 3 and a 4. 3x squared plus 3xy plus 4xy plus 4y squared. Group and group. Take out the greatest common denominator, and then you're good. I'd rewrite this one the other direction and uh, go from there. Back page. Okay, this is the newest thing we got going here. Okay, so if you're gonna pay attention today, pay attention right now. Something cubed plus something cubed or something cubed minus something cubed. This is called the sum of two cubes and the difference of two cubes and you need to follow the formula. For example, what did you cube to get x cubed? You cubed x. What did you cube to get eight? You cubed two. Now I'm using the top formula because it was plus so I'm just gonna replace the x's with x's, that's awkward, and the y's with two, because I what did I cube? I cubed a two, a two goes there. And then we go first thing squared, minus part of the formula, multiply them together, two x, plus square the second thing, four. This is your answer, okay? So we're following these formulas. So let me see here. Let's scroll down a little bit. Well, I guess I can't really follow the formula if I scroll down. I want to do a minus. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. I, I can kind of see it. Well, I guess if I do this. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do this one down here. What did I square to get 8x cubed? I squared 2x. What did I square, excuse me, what did I cube? What did I cube to get 1? I cubed 1. 
So I'm going to use this bottom one. And everywhere I see an x, my first term, I'm putting in a 2x, a 2x, and a 2x. Everywhere I see my second term, y, I'm putting in a 1, and a 1, and a 1. So it's going to look like this. 2x minus 1, that comes from x minus y, times 2x all squared is 4x squared. Then we plus, multiply them together, 2x times 1 is 2x, and then square the second term, and when I square 1, I get 1. There you have it, okay? So a difference of 2 cubes and sum of 2 cubes. So for this one, you'll have 4y it replaces the first term, plus 5 replaces the second term. And then you'll use the top equation and go from there. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay, those are all the cubes over here. Uh, you can factor anything. We talked about this in Chapter 1. You can factor anything in this form. I was like 28. I was like, oh my gosh, I have no idea how to do this. Remember, as long as it's 4, 2, constant, 1, this is actually... This is actually x plus 9, x to the half, plus 20. So you can actually factor this, and you're splitting it into x to the half and x to the half, or square root of x and square root of x. And then what do you multiply for 20 and add for 9, plus 4, plus 5? This is the square root of x plus 4 and the square root of x plus 5. This one, e to the 2x plus 6e to the x, as long as that's twice as much as that, we can factor. And then you're just splitting up e to the x and e to the x and then you have you have what do you multiply for 8 and add for 6 it's 4 and 2 and that's your answer okay and then the bottom stuff here the bottom stuff is oh I don't want that I want that and I want that and I want that and the bottom one goes like this grouping is exact it's basically you know, I'm going to put these two together and these two together, and then I'm going to factor. I'm going to put these two together and these two together, and then I'm going to factor. You just got to watch out here when I put these two together, and then I kind of got to go plus, and then I got negative 14x minus 21. So if I was doing this one, I'd take a 6x squared out and have 2x plus 3. And then I'd take a negative 7 out, and I'd have 2x plus 3. Now I'm going to take a 2x plus 3 out, and I have 6x squared minus 7. Okay. Finish those out. That's it. Fun Factor Friday all day long. All day